All right, it's back with the Land Rover. Just thought I'd do a quick video because I haven't done one for a couple of days. She's coming on. So I've done the, what I've done is I've sprayed the vent, vent flaps. So they're nice and green. And I've got, to, I've got to do the surround to the window yet, or the windscreen. Sprayed the tops of the doors. They're pretty good. And I've been working on this, uh, on the seat box. In fact, I'll go on the other side because it's a, a bit nicer to see on the other side. And do you know what? I bought a seat pack bolt kit and there must be about 150 bolts in here so I've, I've tried to renew every single one i think there's one over in that corner it's not quite it's right over in that corner and just see it there look she's having a bit of a bit of a hissy fit of going in but <clears throat> yeah there's there's kind of six in the top panel there there's about there's four or five in the top panel there there's six in there there's the tunneled the tunnel round the gear, you know the gearbox tunnel and then the, the lever tunnel has got them on both ends. And then these two floors, I, I can't believe it. There's so many different screws. And the, and the thing is, they're all different. So if you buy a pack, I bought a pack from, I don't know, Wright's Fasteners, I think. So I bought a pack. Now, the, the they're all different screws and nuts and bolts and all sorts. And you think, ah, can, why are they all different? I'll just bolt them all up. And I started with these two, just down here, started with these two bolts. And then realised, well, you can't get into these because the fuel tank's there. And the fuel tank's there. Then you can get a bolt in that one, and then these these four of these plastic, uh, you know, the plastic um, what, what do they call them? screw holders, I suppose. So all of these are new plastic screw holders. I've put the original rubbers on, where the original rubbers look just under the floor, so no no water's seeping in there. We've got a nice seal there. We've got soundproofing on the bottom of here, soundproofing on this bit here, so no, no water's coming through here. Then I've put soundproofing on the door because. The, on here is gonna go a canvas, um, it's a canvas pocket thing from, I think from Exmoor Trim. So all of that's gonna be covered with a, a nice pocket thing. But I'm quite impressed with the doors. I haven't put the latches on the windows yet, I'll have to do that, I've got them in the, in the garage. But look, ah, <laughs> I knew she'd do that. I don't know why, but this one, this one you have to slam, but she's pretty solid. Nice solid door. I don't know why you have to slam it at all, it's just, ah. The gaps are right. I've got the gaps up there is perfect. That's a four and a half, five mil gap. And then I've got a five mil gap at the top along that side. And then I've got actually the, the weather seal in this side. That's the weather seal there. There's a slightly bigger gap there, but it's parallel. It looks the business. I don't know why I have to slam it. I think it's the lock. So the gaps are pretty good there. All the way down that door, I've got the weather seal in the lower part of the door. A little crease on my door there, but never mind. And then the gap on that one's pretty good. So I've tightened everything up there. And then on the <clears throat> on the other side, this one's just a little bit stiff, but I'm just gonna look at the gaps with you now, because so the gap there is pretty good. That's pretty nice and straight. And the gap at the top is pretty straight. Now I've got a little twist there, so it's a wider gap there than it is down here. So I've got a slightly wider gap. So maybe this windscreen needs to come back a little bit on this side, just well, it's about 10 mil there, so if I take it back another four or five mil, that should bring that gap level. But the door, this one, this one sticks a little bit. So, well, that's no, not too bad there, but she shuts better. I mean, with the soundproofing on, it sounds like a blooming Porsche. Fantastic. Oh, that's blooming gorgeous, then. So everything's in, uh, gaiters in, cup holders. Um, I'm widening my panel yet. I think I might get the electrician to do that because I'm not that good on electrics. Uh, new grab handles, that's all nice and solid. Seats are all looking pretty good. And of course, all the nuts and bolts are on this side as well. With the seal, I put the rubber seals on this side, all the rubber seals on there. Put the seals underneath these. Put the seals underneath the centre box on that one. And put the seals, put seals around here and put new, uh, the, the little red things there that hold the screws in. New ones of them in. So they're all new, bit of soundproofing on there. <laughs> That's because it's uh, that's actually a new floor in there, and I might put soundproofing on this floor because that still still rattles a bit. So I might put some soundproofing on there. I've got some left. I mean, I've, it's not to make it quiet. It's just because I've got it. And it makes it sound, you know, more solid, um, more like a car than it does a truck. But she's pretty good so far. Don't know why that one is sticky, but both doors close pretty well. And um, would you believe it? My my blooming. I've had my bonnet disconnected for so long because this didn't work. And the, for, the, for the first time ever, it's blooming worked. Now I can't get it open because I haven't got the bonnet cable connected. 
So if you're in that position, you've got to get underneath, waggle it about, and then get the bonnet up. So I'll get uh, someone to help me do that. But we're looking pretty good. We've, I still haven't started the lights. I think I'm scared of doing the lights. I think I'm scared of doing the lights in case I mess them up. So I might just take it to Richard and ask him to do the lights for me. Because that's the last thing to do now. Uh, number plates on, lights on, and we're looking at second week of January, she should be running, I think, and up and MOT'd and stuff. So my name's Mark, and hope you enjoy the videos. Signing off for now.